my my PJ Martinez, professional bartender, world class bartender, world class club bartender, solid piece, and world class hand crafted barista. So my introduction is uh, I'm turning 30 by October, and my background is uh, I started club bartending when I was 16. My high school days in Perpetua, so uh, from there I achieved uh, great knowledge in my previous work and then uh, I encountered challenges on the saucepan and I gained knowledge also in abroad. In the Middle East, after that I went back here due to the pandemic and then I started working um, PGC. After that one, I started working in a lot of bars and then now here. So when you first went to the first session, how would you handle it? Of course, I, uh, that was a person who went back. I, uh, I used to do her problems and then after I used to do the problem, I solved it by the way. And then when I solved it by the way, I thanked it for their problem because uh, that because, uh, um, by their problem, I gained the knowledge and then uh, I learned from the, I learned from the actual uh, scenario. So, my second question is, what makes you a good teacher? <laughs> number one, I have my uh, experience. Number two, I have my knowledge. Number three, I, I have uh, encountered all the challenges that I over the past 14 16 years. How would you maintain order to encourage customers to run? Of course, uh, I think the uh, connections to them. So, by following them, uh, which could for the topic of customers or the client or guests. Uh, I maintain the good vibes, the vibrations and positive uh, adaptations and then uh, by doing that one, I have a lot more customers. Um, so, we are healthy. Yeah. I have the customers and I have the vibe. My question for you is, how would you describe bartending to someone who has no idea what to so, uh, bartending, I would describe it to someone uh, if they like uh, mixing other drinks, mixing other stuffs, or the drink. Um, I will describe them that uh, it's a good part of a uh, way of uh, learning, learning each drink, each new drink. For example, bartending is more, most likely more about cooking. Because uh, cooking, you can mix other stuff. In Barton, you can mix other things. You can, uh, you can pursue, pursue of all the things that you, you, need to, uh, you need to learn. How do you tell when a customer has had to manage the So I can handle this one by uh, asking them if, uh, if they can still drink it. So if not, I can handle it by uh, lowering, lowering their orders or uh, canceling their orders because uh, it's not a lot about uh, the drink that I care. It's about the it's about the customers that I care. That's the number. Just one of the good things about the uh, being a good person. And lastly, uh, what drink is the hardest to drink? Um, most likely, all of the drinks is the hardest because. Uh, I will give you an example. Sample, an old fashioned. An old fashioned is a biscuit base. You can uh, either best, you can either base this one on the palate of the, of the people, of the customers. Because uh, some of the people palates are uh, stronger, some of the people palates are uh, lower. So uh, it uh, depends on the palate of the, of the people. But old fashioned is one of uh, my. Uh, the hardest thing that I have uh, ever played. Hi. 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 Seven questions. Um, what is the best thing to serve? What's the best thing that I serve for me? My customers are smart. So, uh, I'm a place of birthday shop. So, uh, 
one-time uh, one of the customer approached me and then they told me that uh, her friend has her friend is having a birthday so I make a birthday shot so uh, birthday, I make a I made a birthday shot and then the customer celebrant uh, enjoyed it so uh, by doing that I uh, make a good experience for them so uh, they keep coming back to my bar and enjoy it. Aside from that, they uh, invite all some other friends that uh, in my bar like uh, that we make a good experience for them. Do you have a lot of rules? No, I don't have. But uh, I know the rules. I know the. I'm aware that the, how can I handle it? I do not Number one, my major responsibility is about fairness. Number two, is order and yes. Number five, is how you treat people. How you treat people is number one. That uh, number one that I can share to you because uh, if if you treat people right, you will always come back to your life, and then they will invite more friends. Thank you. I see myself solving the problem by like solving it too because I believe that I don't know everything and this scenario will be a learning opportunity for me by encountering this problem will help me to learn more and I believe that every day is a learning opportunity and if I ever be in this scenario I will also thank the customer because it helped me learn and gain knowledge from my mistake. As a student pursuing a career in this field, I think it's fantastic to look to him as a source of motivation to keep going no matter what. He did not give up his career no matter how difficult it had to become along the way. As a student who want to learn about understanding your guest needs, this is very helpful because I, I myself love to talk to other people to gain knowledge. And this is very helpful because it gives me idea on how to communicate with guests and I learned that we should always maintain positive energy so we can create a healthy environment for our guests. In my opinion, the job of bartender is not just about the art of mixing wines and spirits, preparing drinks, as well as merchandising. It is also about professionalism and maintaining a good customer relationship. Aside from maintaining a good customer relationship, as a bartender, you should also be trustworthy towards your customer. As Sir AJ said, the hardest drink to prepare is old-fashioned. However, every drink is hardest to prepare since you put a lot of dedication and hard work in the process of making the drink. Hi, I'm John Sayel Ramirez and these are my reflections from the interview that we took. Um, the first question I asked and I realized that um, having or serving people or customers um, iconic drinks or entertaining drinks can create a e connection to the bartender and to the customer. Um, and it can make the customer um, often come back to the restaurant because of the entertainment and the experience that um, he was in. And for the second question, I realized that it's it is important that you are capable of knowing your customers' alcohol tolerance in order to keep them safe and um, and to at the same time enjoy the drink that you make. Enjoy, let them enjoy the drink that you make. And for the last question I ask, I realize that being a bartender is not all, um, just all about alcohol and serving drinks to the people or customers. Um, they have a lot of responsibilities like um, keeping the bar clean and operational, inspecting their equipments and glasses for um, any um, um, bacteria or, or, or um, dust or anything else that might um, ruin the uh, restaurant's um, safety and cleaning policy and at the same time um, managing the the cost of everything that they buy or the supplies they buy.